Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you. It's the day that the Lord has made for us, and I will rejoice. I hope you will, too. In the Lord and in his kindness and his mercy, his faithfulness, good morning to you. <clears throat> the old folks used to say it's another day's journey, and I'm so glad about it. I'm so glad about it. Thank you for joining me, Keith. So glad you could join me this morning, David. Good morning to you. Praise the name of Jesus. Good morning to you, Betty. I'm so glad that you could be with me this morning. Grace and peace to you from God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. So glad you could be here this morning. Thank you for being with me. God bless you. God bless you really, really good. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I would start you know, calling out names and thanking you for being here, but I can see very little because uh, I had a blood vessel to uh, to blood bust in my eye, and so I had to take my contact out. And so I know you're here, <laughs> but I can't see you. <laughs> uh, so I feel you in the spirit this morning. Every Sunday morning, we come together at 6 a.m. and pray the prayer of faith. And uh, we believe God to hear us when we pray. The many testimonies. Um that I hear of men and women all across the world talking about the goodness of Jesus and the faithfulness of our God is just absolutely uh, outstanding. And uh, I thank God for it. If you are on social media, Instagram, Facebook Live, YouTube, Twitter, I would ask that you would invite somebody to join us because I believe that prayer is still the access way to, to the very heart of God. And so I would that you would join us in prayer. I would that you would Invite somebody to join us in prayer. God meets us. God comes together supernaturally and fills us with his presence. The space where we're in, God fills us. He breaks habits. He breaks addictions. He gives us answers. He lifts burdens. That's the kind of God we serve. And so we give God praise. It's been an action-packed few weeks. Uh, last Sunday, I had a chance to celebrate with one of my mentees who um, was installed as his pastor of his church. In Fredericksburg, Pastor Richard Davis in the Oasis Church. Last Saturday night, I got a call from one of my lifetime friends, Eric Dawson, who just passed his ordination. So now he's the Reverend Eric Dawson. And um, yesterday, I had an, an incredible honor to be with my brother and my friend, Pastor Tim Price the Third, the Reverend Doctor as he is installed as, as pastor of the First Baptist Church, St. Louis City. And so I'm excited about the season of elevation. I'm excited about the season of elevation. I love what God is doing. And I wanna encourage you to know that God is with you now and he is working in you a far greater glory. No matter what it looks like, he remembers, he remembers and he sees. So be faithful over a few things and God will make you ruler. Be faithful, be humble, be ready, stay vigilant, and stay intentional to honor the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your grace, your goodness, your faithfulness, your kindness. You have been so good to us, and we thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for the breath that gives us life. Thank you for the strength that fortifies us every single day, that keeps us moving in your grace. Thank you for what you're doing when we can't see what you're doing. Thank you for rebuking demons, death, and destruction. Thank you for healing our body and arresting infirmities. Thank you, Lord God, for being a mighty God, a strong God, and a sovereign king. I thank you, Lord God, for giving us access to the very throne where we can find help in our time of need. Thank you for drying the tears from our eyes, Lord God. And thank you, Lord God, for giving us uh, strength and boldness in the Holy Ghost to do the thing that you've expressly called us to do. Thank you for purpose and thank you for destiny. Thank you for the assignment of God on our life. We declare today that we'll never be the same. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the stripes that were shed for us, that we might live in the abundance and the overflow. Thank you for redeeming us. Thank you for canceling sin and destruction and distractions. Lord God, we give you praise. Father, we call upon your name now in the name of Jesus, because you said whoever calls upon the name of the Lord, that you would save them. And so here we are all across the globe. Crying out to you, praying the prayer of faith, believing that 
In fact, when we call you, you hear us. Thank you, Lord God, for rebuking death. Thank you for rebuking sickness. Thank you for canceling every plot and every scheme. We don't know why you did it for us because other people have been through what we've been through and they didn't make it. Other people have been through what we've gone through, Lord Jesus, and they did not make it. And so we realized that it could have been us, but because your loving kindness was better than life. Father, we praise you with our lips and with our life, we surrender our hearts to you. Father, by your spirit, be glorified and move by your spirit and annihilate the schemes and the plots of the enemy, Lord. Expose the very trap of the enemy and help us to walk in power. Expose the very plot of the enemy and help us to walk in victory in the name of Jesus. Father, we love you. We crown you in our life as king and we declare that you are Lord and beside you there is no other. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for safe passage over the airways and over the highways. Father, when bullets are flying rapidly, Lord Jesus, and people are stabbing and killing, Lord Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. For a brand new day, we give you praise. How you keep us and supply needs for us and make ways for us, we give you praise, Lord God. Thank you for being our redeemer. Thank you for being our righteousness. Thank you, Lord God, for being our sovereign savior. We thank you, Lord, even now that you are showing up today and that you have a plan for us, Lord Jesus, to prosper us, Lord Jesus. You have a plan for us, Lord Jesus, to give us uh, an expected end. Thank you, Jesus, that our footsteps are ordered by you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you with, that you're with us. Father, we ask that you would lift the spirit, Lord Jesus, of those who are downtrodden, those who are depressed and defeated and lonely. Father, lift the spirit of those who are doubting, those who are living in fear. We curse fear and we speak peace and, and confidence and the assurance of the Holy Ghost now. Break every curse of fear. Break every curse of suicidal tendencies. Break every curse of depression. Break every curse that defeats your people, Lord Jesus, and give the victory to every man and woman, Lord, under the sound of my voice. Give them the power and the strength to speak and to walk in power and to walk in victory by the power of the Holy Ghost. We cast our cares on you. Cast all of our cares on you because you care for us. Father, break every addiction, every habit, Every yoke be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Rebuke the devourer for our sake. Annihilate the scheme of the enemy, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray for those who are experiencing bereavement, the Weathers family, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would cover them even now, even now, even now. And I pray for the Reed family even now that you would cover them. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would manifest your glory and your, your goodness, that you would manifest your power, that you would manifest the power and the consolation, Lord Jesus. Help them feel the embrace of your presence all across their life. In the name of Jesus, Lord, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it because you can. Do it because you said that you would be with us always. Do it, Lord Jesus. Crown them with your goodness and your righteousness. Help us, Lord Jesus, sanctify our hearts and cleanse us and equip us to do in the name of Jesus. And as we go today and we prepare to do ministry work with Jesus, whether we're singing in the choir, whether we're praying on the altar, whether we're preaching at the pulpit, Lord Jesus, or ushering at the door, we need your presence. We need your presence. We need your presence. We need the presence of the almighty God to rest on us. Give us the words to sing. Give us the words to say. Give us the hug to give, Lord. Give us the, the, the comfort, Lord Jesus. Give us the encouragement in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, we cry, cry, cry out to you with our voice and we call upon your name, Lord Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing, Lord Jesus. Perfect your strength in us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, perfect your strength in us, Lord God. We confess that we are frail without you. We can't do this thing without you. We've tried. We can't do this thing without you. Lord, except you build a house, everything that we do is in vain. And we don't want our living to be in vain. We want to walk in purpose to fulfill the express thing that you've called us to do, Lord Jesus. And you know what we need to do it, Lord God. You know how we need, Lord Jesus, so that we can bring glory and honor to your name, Lord Jesus. And so we cry out to you with our voice and we lift up the name of the Lord Jesus. And we believe, Lord Jesus, 
even now that you are moving in the midst of us, that you're moving in the midst of us, that you're moving in the midst of us, that you've assigned legions of angels to encamp around us, Lord, to help us. Father, we need your strength. We need your power. Father, we need your direction. Cover us and keep us and help us. Now, Father, we need you now. Father, we need you now in a very real way. Father, our government needs you. Ah, uh, we, we need you in the land, Lord Jesus. There's so much lawlessness. There's evil uh, on every turn, Lord Jesus. There's the, the racism, Lord Jesus. It's, all, it's out of control, Lord God. And there's classism. It's like nothing we've ever experienced, Lord Jesus. And Father, we need your wisdom so that we can whoop the enemy of racism. We can whoop the enemy of classism. And you can get the glory. Father, we pray that you would make this nation one nation that is under God. Make this nation that is a nation that is under God. Right now, if there are many gods that are operating and we are living in the state of confusion all over the place. And we want to be a God people, a God fearing people, a God walking people, a God exercising people. Help us, Lord Jesus, to be the nation that is under God, the almighty, the sovereign God of the universe. In the name of Jesus, break every chain, Lord. Break every chain. Destroy every plot, every scheme by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, I pray for the young lady at the airport yesterday who was pregnant. I pray that you give her grace as she prepares to be a mom, that you keep her body strong, that her baby's healthy. In the name of Jesus, meet every need, Lord Jesus. Give her financial stability in the name of the Lord. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus, touch by your spirit, touch by your power. Do it because you can in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Father, I pray for pastors and leaders all across the world that your strength would be perfected in weakness, that you would fortify them with your goodness and your grace that you would help them to be who you've called them to be, that you would give them insight and clarity in the spirit, Lord Jesus, that you would keep their body strong, that you would keep their body strong. Father, we, we curse infirmities and sickness in the name of the Lord. Regulate their blood pressure and their, their glucose levels, Lord Jesus. Dry up diabetes and, and, and rebuke cancer by the name of the Lord Jesus. Do it, Lord God, because you're able and we trust you and we cry out to you and we call upon you. Thank you for every man and woman, Lord Jesus, who is praying this morning, uh, on the, whether they're on the conference call, whether they're on the social media platform, Lord God, touch them. These people need a touch from you, Jesus, and you are the sovereign God. You are the mighty God of Israel. Touch them. Touch your people, Lord Jesus, in a place like only you can. Only you know what they need, Lord Jesus. And so I ask that you would touch them. I intercede for them now that you would touch them that you would fill them with the spirit of the Holy Ghost, that you would spill them, fill them with the spirit of peace, that you would give them courage, Lord Jesus. I curse the spirit of timidity. I curse the spirit of doubt. I curse the spirit, Lord Jesus, of fear. In the name of the Lord, touch your people. Make your presence real. Make your presence real. Make your presence real. Father, I pray for peace for our families, our sons and our daughters our mothers and our fathers, our husbands and our wives, our sisters and our brothers, I pray for peace. Pray for good health and strength in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you and we praise you. We thank you and we lift you. We thank you and we lift you. We lift you, Lord Jesus. You said in your word, if we lift you up from the earth, that you would draw men unto yourself. And so we lift you. Without reservation, we lift you. Oh, Father, we lift your name, Lord. We wave your name as a banner over our lives. Make your presence known. Touch, touch Jesus, touch. Touch to overflowing. Fill to overflowing in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for testimonies of men and women, Lord Jesus, who have experienced your greatness, Lord Jesus, the miracles that you worked, the prayer that you answered, the signs and the wonders that you manifested. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for elevation for Pastor Timothy and Pastor Richard, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for Reverend Eric, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for Bishop Mark, even this month, Lord God, for consecration, Lord. I thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for the season of elevation. I thank you for seasons of elevation. I thank you for the season of elevation, Lord Jesus. 
I thank you for doing what you're doing, how you're doing it. Touch your people. Touch your people, Father. Touch your people. Touch your people, Father. We cry out to you. Touch your people, Father. Touch your people. Fill them with your glory and your power. Touch your people. Help them to feel you and experience you. Help them to know that you're real. Feel, fill them with your glory. Fill them with your spirit and your power. Touch your people now in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. God, rescue some circumstance, Lord Jesus, from poverty and destruction. Answer these prayers, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We need an outpour of your spirit. 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 Father, we really need an outpour of your spirit. Lawlessness and wickedness and evil and entitlement and narcissism and hatred have become the order of the day. And we need an outpour of your spirit. Touch us with your goodness. Touch us with your power. Touch us with your glory. Touch us, Jesus, touch us. Make your presence known. Make your presence real. In the name of Jesus. And we give you praise. And we give you praise. And we give you praise. In the name of the Lord, we pray. And we thank you. And we glorify you. Forgive us from sin that separates us from you. Forgive us from sin that separates us from you. Take out the iniquity, Lord Jesus, so that you might hear us when we pray. Do it, God. And we'll forever give your name the praise. The glory will be yours. In Jesus' name we pray. 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 Amen. Amen. Hey, guys, I want you to have an incredible, impactful week. I pray for you that the Lord would blow your mind this week, that he would show himself supernaturally powerful just for you. And keep yourself encouraged in his promises. Know that all things are working for your good because he said they would. And he keeps his promises. Did you hear me when I said we serve a God who is a promise keeper? And that's the victory that helps us to walk in power. That's the victory that gives us what we need. Amen. 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 I love you guys. I want you to have an amazing week. I'm believing God for some supernatural manifestations. I can't wait to see what he's going to do. I can't wait to hear how he's going to move. I can't wait to know what he's going to do. I can't wait. I am excited for you. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. Hallelujah. I'm excited for you. And listen, for somebody who's worrying about their financial situation, keep trusting God and study his track record with you. He's never, he's never failed you. He's always made a way for you. You have to be a good steward of what he does, but he's always made a way for you. He's always provided for you. Even if it was at the last hour, he's always come through for you. And you have to rehearse that. And you have to celebrate that. You have to remember that. Are you hearing me? He's going to meet the, meet the need, but you have to be a better steward of what he's given you. You have to trust the Lord and you have to sow your seed in faith. Not in need but in faith. That's what has to happen. All right. Have a wonderful day. Hey, listen, find somewhere to worship today. The Lord wants us to come together to be unified so he can do what he's going to do with us together. If you're sick, I, I believe the Lord to raise you up out of your bed and give you a victory to walk, to run, to talk in victory. That's my prayer. Have an amazing week on purpose. I love y'all forever. Pam, I love you. I love you so much. The vet, thank you for joining me. Sandra, thank you so much. Thank you, Jessica, for being with me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love you, Lisa. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye. I'll see you guys again next Sunday. The Lord delay is coming. All right? <laughs>